once you are able to understand what is what are the top 3 values in your life and then once you start to do more of that once you start to spend more of your time and energy doing that you will be able to add more value to other people and when you add more value to other people there'll be a value exchange that will happen and that that value exchange will come in the form of money so most people who are not making money today are not living their life based on their highest values and one of my favorite quotes by dr d martini is if you don't fill your day with high priority actions it will automatically get filled with low priority distractions balbon all the time balbon i'll repeat that if you don't fill your day with high priority actions it will automatically get filled with low priority distractions and the purpose of this exercise what we're going to do is to help you understand what is that priority because sometimes you're too busy being busy being busy that we are not able to step back and reflect on okay what is the most important thing for my life for myself for my business so we're going to go through these six steps and let's start with the first step so the first step is i'm going to help you identify what are your top 3 values by asking you 11 questions so we go through these 11 questions and next to each question that i ask you you have to write down top 3 top 3 top 3 top 3 top 3 top 3 for all these 11 so you'll have you'll have at least 33 th- you know, items on the list okay so let's start with the first question the first one is all about space space is you have your personal space you have your your home is also like your space can you think about what are the top 3 things or top 3 uh items that fill up your space for example for me in my space i have my laptop i have my camera and what do these items represent these items represent serving my community okay it is not just technology i am using these tools to serve so i wanted to think about what do those what are those items and what are those what do those items represent and once you're done with the first question once you're done with your top 3 in the first question type 1d in the comment box i'm pretty sure all of you are going to have your phone on that list the mobile phone is another organ in our body okay yes think about it i'll repeat the question what are the top 3 items in your space what are the top 3 items in your space and list down those items and next to the item put a hyphen and write down what do those items represent for some of you if it is a book that means it represents learning yeah even in your in your bedroom space in your home like what do you see like if you come to my home you'll see a lot of uh, items that represent uh, spirituality okay so i have our altar at home a lot of pictures that represent that mood awesome one done okay now let's come to the second part excellent now you don't have to type that in the comment box here, okay just for you to write it down and note down the note down what do those represent by the, by the time we finish these 11 questions it will be like real you'll have a bulb on moment then okay second is where do you spend most of your time what are the top 3 areas where you spend your time close your eyes do a mental audit of your week where is maximum time going in what kind of activity make note of it again you don't have to type this in the comment box this is for you to write if the second thing is done just type 2d in the comment box where do you spend your time most of your time 
and then next to that if you want what does that activity represent i i can definitely say i spend a lot of time in, in front of my camera so this activity represents service to the community okay which is one of my highest values i spend a lot of time with family i spend a lot of time in spirituality so you know these are like the the areas where most of it goes not much time on tv not much time in gossip and you know not too much of a shopper i don't go out shopping i don't it, all of that all of that stuff will come i'll explain that to you later okay we'll come to that two done awesome awesome let's come to the third question the third question is where do you see a lot of your energy going into like where do you like to use your energy and where you feel your energy does not drain what are the top 3 areas of your life where when you put your energy into into that where there's a lot of energy going there you don't feel that your energy is draining and if you got the third one this type 3d in the comment box excellent where are you spending a lot of your energy now in some cases you may be spending a lot of energy which is draining also okay also may make a mental note of that what is that like overall just look do a mental audit and see where is most of your energy going yes you have listed now your top 3 where your energy does not drain but also list down an area where you feel there is you are putting a lot of energy there and it is draining you okay just make a mental note of that just note that down the fourth point is uh money if you look at your bank statement you will know where are you spending your money most of your money okay so write down your notepad what are the top 3 things that you do with your money where does this money go what do you like to buy with your money write that down and type 4d if you got that like when i look at my bank statement i would say a lot of it is going back to the business is going back to the community building is going back to learning okay a lot of money going in charity so i know so dr d martin he says whatever is your highest values if you tell me what your highest values are i will tell you where you are spending your money because the money flows automatically to what you value the most okay or where you you see there is value got it okay so fourth one is money you got your 4d just type 4d in the comment box okay got it now let's come to the next uh, point which is uh, the fifth question is in which area of or which are the top 3 areas in your life where you are most organized where people need need not tell you to be organized think about it in which are the top 3 areas of your life are you most organized like for me i'm uh, very organized when it comes to my business like my folders my spreadsheets my financial data my numbers okay and what does that represent it again represents service to community building my business so think about it i'm organized in my personal stuff also sana saying what if i'm not organized at all there'll be some area where you've been consistent and you've been organized even if it may not be like your room or your clothes or anything else you could be organized in something else some other area think about that area yeah type 5d if you're done with this 
and i just want to make a note uh, to all disclaimer to all of you there's nothing good or bad about the, you know about anything here it is just for you to identify a pattern that's going to come here because all of us are individual unique beings and uh, not everybody has to be the same okay there's no good there's no right or wrong answer in this awesome sixth one in which area of your life are you disciplined and reliable give your top 3 there in which areas of your life top 3 areas of your life where you're disciplined and you're reliable if people come to you and give you a task in that particular area consider it as done you will never you know stumble on that yes bsa ayappa it may seem as repeating but it is to probe you to think if there are any other areas so stick to the assignment type 6d in the count box if you're done with this so again for me when i look back at my my patterns and values like i'm there every week in a circle call hackathon i'm disciplined and reliable on showing up for the community which is why community is my highest value okay now let's come to number 7 seven. seventh question is what are the most or the top 3 dominant thoughts in your head that you think of most of the time just close your eyes and you know write down those three thoughts it does not have to be only positive it could even be negative thoughts i mean just be open to documenting that and type 7d in the count box if you got this thank you Awesome. So now you know what are the areas, your top three areas where you're able to. You're now aware. Okay, where your thoughts are mostly going towards. Okay, awesome. Let's come to the eighth point. The eighth question is, what do you visualize most? Now this is different from dominant thoughts. Dominant thoughts are what happens on autopilot inside your head. Okay. visualization is what do you consciously visualize like when i when i write my goals i visualize a few things okay like which i which i'm aspiring to move towards in my business in my personal life so what are your top 3 visualizations is it about contribution to society or is it about building a new home or is it about buying a new car or is it about uh, giving some travel experience for your family is it about retiring your parents think about that like what do you visualize most from a goal perspective give your top 3 excellent excellent type 8d in the count box and stay connected with this exercise okay don't type anything else in the count box go through this it's going to help you i can assure you this by the time you're done with this you will know what buttons to push to take your life forward okay let's come to number 9 Number 9 is what are the top 3 things that inspire you the most What are the top 3 things that inspire you the most And type 9d once you're done with that
give you all one more minute do that for me what inspires me the most is uh when i do the hall of fame interviews and people tell me hey you know like one year back i was in a mess and now i came and i implemented this and i'm making this kind of results you know those stories inspire me the most so i wake up every day looking forward to interviewing another person you know that's one of the things that inspire me the most from a business person you know community again spending time with the family playing with the kids inspires me a lot thinking about what's going through their mind all of that stuff yeah sales generating sales in webinars inspires me like crazy i love it when people buy my products next is number 10 okay what have been your consistent long term goals that you are seeing is beginning to come true uh just to explain this a little bit more uh some of you may have had goals that have been with you for many years maybe 10 15 years like i can tell you that this goal of building a freedom business was always in my head from from when i was uh, from when i read rich dad poor dad the first time that was when i was 19 or 20 years old so more than 18 years so think about what are the three things which have been your consistent long term goals in your life because some of the goals could be injected values it could be somebody else's goal you know you would have heard from someone and you made make that as a goal but i want you to look at what is that long term goal from your childhood or from when you were young you see have been consistent in your life as as the goal that you want to, to aspire Okay, just type ten D if you got this. Excellent, thank you. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> I hope I'm not going too fast. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, good. The last point is this. Okay, the last question to you is: What do you want to study? What are the top three things that you really want to study and go deep? Yes, one is whatever we are doing over here. and you are uh, yeah you want to build your freedom business all that besides this like what really inspires you and uh, to go deeper into studying where you you know for sure that you're not you're not going to get bored studying that so write that in in the comment box sorry not write that in your notepad not in the comment box okay what do you want to study top 3 topics that you want to go deep into and study for me for me it's definitely the the topic of ecosystems technology marketing all of that stuff i love uh, mindset personal development human behavior and also you know spiritual topics going back to the roots and stuff i would never get bored you know doing research on these these three areas type 11d in the comment box if you got that Awesome, awesome, excellent. So, if you have done these eleven points, I think you will be in the top segment of uh, of the society who who is now aware. So, what I would want you to do, I want you to do this. Okay, uh, in your notepad, just go and look at uh, all those points, and if you are able to see a pattern, just type yes. If you can see a pattern. where it's been consistent you you are able to see a thread somewhere you are able to see a thread okay okay now so what i would want you to do is with all those points that you have that you have written so far if you can bring it down to the top 
three values write that down in your notepads your top three values based on all those patterns that you see here your highest values i'll share this slide again okay if you want to reflect on some of the other questions like when i did this exercise it was absolutely clear my top three values were contribution to the community family and spirituality like it just this was so evident so when i say contribution to community it's it's to do with business okay so if you have got your top 3 just type top 3 in the comment box if you got the top 3 okay so now you have your top 3 you you have your top 3 and i'm going to ask you uh, another question in fact i'm going to do a slido uh, document right now just to do a, an amazing exercise where we will be able to see the entire we have like 567 people watching live now who are all over who have done this exercise and we will be able to look at what is our group value which will come out of this okay we will do that next but uh, i wanted to just type in the comment box now that you understood what are your top 3 values in life okay on a scale of 1 to 100 where you are living your life 100% like every minute of your life you are allocating it to one of these three values if you're so give me a scale on a percentage level what percentage level are you in right now you'll know awesome awesome some of you are at 60 some of you are at 30% some of you are at 90% some of you are at 50 70 10% amazing amazing look at that look at the comment box it's like sizzling with all these numbers so those of you who have scored lesser for you you need to make some conscious decisions to align your life more towards these values because once you start spending more of your time doing the things that are of your highest value you will start to see changes happen in your life and in your business okay so we will do this uh, cool slido poll now so i'm going to run a poll i want you to have only your top 3 words ready your top 3 values like if i had to do this i'll just say community family spirituality because okay, so these are my my top three values so you need to just have your three words ready and i'm going to ask you to type those three words give me a second okay yeah. just logging into slido and this will be quite interesting because i'm going to show it live on the screen and we will know what is our uh, our group value and please enter one word at a time so you enter one word submit enter the next word submit enter the next word and submit here's a link okay what are your top 3 values and enter one word at a time when you click on that link you'll come to a page that looks like this enter your first word send and then enter the second word send third word send curious to see and i'm going to share the screen and you'll be amazed at the kind of congruence and the vibe that this tribe has you know when i say the vibe attracts the tribe you'll see that in action we have 203 of you who have given your highest values 226 out of 
568 people in the room. Okay, so let's bring on the, all the values and see. Keep it coming. I'm yet to share the screen. Just want to keep the suspense on for some more time. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Over 300 people have given their values. And for this group here attending, these are our highest values. And that's why we are aligned. Okay. Now the beauty is though we have the top three there, you know, we have so many other values here, education, energy, coaching, power. Look at the smaller, smaller words, honesty. For some of you, honesty is your highest value. Some of you, peace is your highest value. For some of you, it is growth is your highest, highest value. Nature is your highest value. Love is your highest value. But overall group, if you see here, yeah, it's, these are the big ones. Family, I'll open up the comments. If you're amazed, just type awesome in the comment box. I'm really amazed by this. So family, spirituality, community, contribution, learning, service, freedom, spirituality, I already mentioned that, business, health, and financial freedom. Okay. Awesome. So really, thank you for participating in this. Now we will come to the next part. Back to your workbook. I want you to note down, identify uh, at least three values, which are your top, your top three. Sorry. No, I think you already mentioned top three. Identify your least three values, which you are actually you can identify for yourself. Just uh, write it in your notepad. Like for me, my least three values are uh, when I did this exercise, it was shopping. It was now again, I want all of you to understand that you do not have to have my values. I do not like we as teachers, as knowledge givers cannot inject our values into somebody else. Okay. We need to respect others for what values they have in their life. I'm just going to share what, what is for me. Some of you have, may have shopping as your highest value and I totally respect that. So for me, shopping, uh, it is uh, cleaning and uh, cooking. You know, so I've completely outsourced that. I like, I like to keep things clean, but I like to systemize it. <laughs> I like others to do it. Okay. So what I would, I want you to do is type in your uh, type in the count box what are your top three least what are your least three values entertainment politics shopping okay financial handling cooking give your top three in one line itself let's see You know, for some people, cooking is they are one of their highest values. So, like if I, when I asked my when I did this exercise with my parents, my mom, for her cooking was a highest value because she for her cooking is like it represents uh, taking care of the family, and she's done that for years, and she loves to do it. Okay, so all her time, her energy, everything goes over there. Hmm, interesting. Love, respect. Got it, got it, got it. Now let's come to the third step. Okay. Now that you now, if you've understood your least three values, just type got it in the con box. Okay. Now you can stop sharing that. Just type got it in the con box. So we'll move on to the next step. Also try to analyze. Uh, okay, we will come to that thing. That's the next step. Now the next question is. I want you to reflect on your current lifestyle and 
just make a mental note on uh, what percentage. I think we already did this. I wanted to understand what is your percentage, and many of you have given your percentage. So this step is done. The fourth uh, question is: I want you to write down in your notepad what three actions. What are the top three actions that you must stop? Based on these three least values, when I say stop, you can either automate or delegate or outsource. Just type done if you have noted these three. What are the top three things that you should stop doing? what actions so for example if some of you uh, your highest value is not cooking for example but you still have to do it find help see if you can get somebody to do it okay just think about like what what are the three actions that you you need to stop okay awesome just type done in the con box if you got this now we'll come to the fifth question uh, not fifth question but fifth point of fifth step here is uh, please write down in notepads what are the three actions that you must start which are aligned with your highest values what are your top 3 actions that you must start if you got the fifth step type 5 done in the comment box Yes, excellent. Step five D, five D. Okay. Thank you. And uh, let's see this. What's the last step? The last step is not is just something that you have to do. You got to commit yourself. Like commit yourself. Now. the important thing is you cannot change your life like just instantly like some of these may it may take some phases of of closing some things and starting new things like i'll give you in in my example in my case uh, i started my business uh, my agency business because i wanted to be my own boss okay so what was the the value at that point at stage in my life is yes i wanted to create more money and wealth and i wanted to have more control and then i started to build the company we grew to 35 employees and by year number 6 i had 35 employees working for me and i didn't i wanted to be my own boss but year number 7 year number 6 into the business i was not having financial cash flow i had financial issues and i did not have time also and i had to report to 35 bosses all my clients were my bosses so some of you may think okay being in a job is tough okay i have to report to my boss and manager imagine you are the owner of your own job and you have 35 bosses what is that feeling i did not have freedom complete value misalignment i went through a panic attack in 2015 i could not sleep for 2 weeks now if you did not know that just type dnk in the con box 2015 one day it just hit me so hard i could not sleep because i was overworking i was not eating on time i was driving in bangalore traffic for 3 hours a day going you no know, from marathalli to to mg road that time it was like a lot of construction happening and in gridlock traffic so i would go work come back in the night i would uh, learn other things i would be doing affiliate marketing stuff because and i was not drawing so much from the company there was a lot of financial stress relationship stress my first son was 3 years old okay and one day just it hit me like i could not sleep and for two weeks it went like that i was literally like a zombie and uh, i had to i had to 
you know, go to a doc. The doctor said your entire digestive system is messed up. I went to an Ayurvedic doctor. I went to a full Panchakarma treatment after that for 10 days to literally reset my, my system. Why? Because I was not, I was doing the things on a day-to-day basis because I had to do it. Like how many of you here have experienced not this particular situation, but have experienced something in your life where uh, it has affected you emotionally and in your physical, just type BT if you've been there. You know what I'm talking about. So physical ailments and disease, if you have to break that word disease, right? It is dis-ease. When you're not in ease is when disease comes in. And Dr. Martini also says, when people are not living by their highest values, stress and disease and all the other emotional stuff happens and it affects the system. People start to age much faster. They start to, you know, there's no vitality. The vitality is, is and immunity also goes down. I mean, I'm pretty sure many of you here would agree with me on the point that a lot of people that you may know, like I know in my own family and friend circle, people who have, who have left this world during this COVID time, when I look at their life, they have, they have been living in fear. They have been living in such a way where their immune system was not able to cope. Are you able to see a pattern over there? Yes. Yeah. If you're able to see a pattern, I was able to see like a few, I, a few close people in my family and friend circle passed away. And I know that when I look at their life, I, they were not living by their highest values. And they, they, there's nothing for them to look forward to. Yeah. So when I was, uh, ask, when I was asking Dr. Martini the question on, uh, on vitality. I want to read this once again, because this will give you a, another aha moment to understand why I'm doing this exercise. Because if you want to live that freedom business, that freedom lifestyle, make more money, attract more abundance, prosperity, what you want in your life? You need to, you need to start changing some patterns of how you live and start to align more with that. And that's why this exercise is so important. Okay. One minute. I just want to share I shared this before, but I'll do it once again. So I asked Dr. Martini, even in the interview in my book, the question on health. Okay. Uh, the question was, how do you keep yourself so fit? You're 66 and you don't look the way that you, you're, lo- you're looking so energetic. You're doing a 14 hour seminar just after this seminar. What's the secret to you maintaining your body? Now I expected a totally different answer that, you know, I have a lot of water and I exercise every single day and I eat only vegan food and all the typical stuff, but that was not what was the answer. His answer was this, your vitality in life is directly proportional to the vividness of your vision, the articulation of your speech and the clarity of your mission. That's the source of your vitality. We automatically plateau when we don't have a clear vision, but when our vision is clear, we have vitality. Vitality is automatically also proportionate to the details you put into your mind. So if you've got everything delegated and you're clear about what you do, your vitality is up. And when you do something you love to do, you don't age as much. I think that's the reason why I'm doing so well, because I do whatever I love every day and I delegate the rest away. Now, anytime you're doing low priority things, you're more in your amygdala. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. The amygdala is the is always trying to avoid pain and seek pleasure. And so it tends to subjectively skew your reality. You tend to then have the fear of loss of your infatuations and a fear of gain of your resentments and you're living in phobias that ages you. It puts time and space in your mind and occupies your mind and distracts you. That's what ages you and that's what entropy is. And if this was a bulb on moment for you, just type bulb on in the comment box. Profound, profound. I mean, this was an aha moment for me. I was expecting a different answer. Doctor, why, how would you keep yourself so fit? I was expecting a different answer. Amazing. 
yeah so coming back to the point is when you are now that you've identified your top three values you've identified your least three values you need now you've also identified okay what you need to stop what you need to start all you have to do now is just commit to yourself and start to reorganize your life to do more things in all these 11 areas filling your space your time filling your energy spending your money uh, organizing in those areas where your highest values are and you will start to see your business grow and just to recap on whatever i said earlier on when you live by your highest values uh, you will be able to add more value to people and by you doing that the value exchange will start to show in your life in the form of the money in your bank account which is what is a physical representation of the value that you have delivered even earl nightingale says that right so and when that happens uh you will be adding more value to other people's lives when there's a value exchange okay so it's it's i've used the word value so many times in this session the session uh i hope it has gone deep if this has gone deep just type gd in the con box person totally i i was i was i used to have a fear to to go in front of people i had a lot of hesitation as to how do i put across my knowledge to people I'm really wondering that when i have talent and i have the potential what is stopping me to you know you know to break free to get true freedom in my life you know whether it is financial freedom whether it is uh, you know fame or popularity you know i have been looking for those questions i was not very confident in marketing any concept although i myself was 100% convinced about an idea the niche clarity blueprint that i did since morning till evening night uh, in one row so in step by step uh, manner so that it was so clear and i could actually get to my niche what is the core of me breathing fitness yeah i could nail it down i realized the power of freedom having uh, having a uh, control on your life game has changed completely i have so many followers i have a great brand for myself and above all there are so many people in my community who are always looking forward to learn from me and that's an amazing feeling and at the same time i have been able to develop my own program for teachers to use google tools in education for teaching online so once i came into this amazing community you know and it's not just about the techniques and the tricks and the simplification that he puts forward and this community gives you but also the kind of positive energy that you get from this uh, you know amazing community if you really want to have a freedom in your life by leveraging power of internet so freedom business model is a way to achieve that there are good reasons why i call siddhartha a sacred my digital buddha and i trust me after coming to internet lifestyle my life has changed forever if you really want to fly be with the falcons and internet lifestyle hub is the crew of falcons i'll see you there